Centers for Disease Control calls it a nightmare bacteria, and the organization is urging hospitals to help prevent it from spreading. The bug, which is called CRE, is resistant to antibiotics and kills half the patients who get it. Dr. Nasia Safdar is an infectious disease specialist at UW Health. Welcome back Welcome to Life at Five. Thank Good you. to see you. you. Is this as, as scary as it sounds? What is CRE and, and why is it so dangerous? I think it potentially is scary because CRE is actually a family of bacteria. It's not just one, unlike MRSA or C. diff. And when you have a family of germs that are able to get resistant very quickly, then the potential for spread is quite dramatic. So it's not a surprise. I don't think that we're seeing more of it than we did before. Uh, but we have to find a way to contain it before it spreads, much like MRSA did or C. diff did. This is not walking down the street, somebody sneezing on you. This is confined to hospitals and nursing homes and long care, That's at correct. least for now. Yeah, it largely is, uh, is an organism in health care. So nursing homes, long-term acute care, hospitals to some extent are all... And how's it passed? Listen. It's usually by contact. So contact from a person that has it may not know they have it because they could be colonized and not have any symptoms via the equipment or apparel or hands of healthcare workers or other personnel and then somebody who's vulnerable may get it. Have we seen this locally? Uh, Wisconsin has seen it, yes, certainly. There have been several facilities here and nationwide it seems to be a growing problem. So, so what do you do? How do you protect yourself? Well, I think it's, as you said, common sense thing. So hand hygiene is obviously critical and will prevent transmission when consistently applied. Devices, I think, are a big thing because normal skin poses a good defense, but when you have an intravascular device or a urinary catheter, then your defenses get breached and you're more liable to get this sort of bacteria. So is, is this then, just um, the result of... Um over prescribing and overusing antibiotics is that what has led I us to I think people this? think largely that antibiotic overuse is a big part that's playing the population is getting more vulnerable we're doing more and more procedures and people are you know living longer mostly in good health but oftentimes not when things like this happen but largely an antibiotic overuse problem I think And how does somebody become immune to antibiotics I guess that's probably a big long scientific thing It probably is but I think you know when it's in the environment and it's overused then eventually your bacteria will mutate and when they mutate, they become resistant to the antibiotics that they've already seen. Eventually, it's all antibiotics, so that's what we're seeing with CRE, is that very few are still active against this. And there's, it's almost completely resistant to antibiotics? There's a couple that can be used to treat it, but you know, the normal list for antibiotics is very long when you get an infection, but for something like CRE, it's maybe one or two things that can treat people. And are some people more susceptible than others, or is this... It's I think if you're immunocompromised, if you're older, if you have devices, if you have a long stay in any healthcare facility, all those things make you more at risk for it. Something else to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> We're full of good news. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Safter. Good you're to see welcome. you. You're very welcome. Thank you. you.